hi dhawal how are you this is ishani hello ishani nice to see you again yeah same here so dhawal welcome to our uh, talk show where we are talking to our uh, alumni and uh, understanding what they are doing in their day to day life we are calling it analytics shala you know mm-hmm. like part shala analytics shala so thank you so much for accepting our invitation and coming for the show today so dhawal uh, you know for the everyone who's listening to us if you could just tell me where you work what kind of company you're working in uh firstly thank you so much ishani for having me um i am working currently in bell canada it is a telecom company here in canada and i'm working as a business intelligence analyst under the department of advanced analytics all right so it's a telecommunication company wonderful and your role is in business intelligence yes uh business intelligence but there's a overarching department name which is known as advanced analytics okay. but there are small subgroups under that subheading all right wonderful so if you could just uh, you know tell me what is your role what are you doing at bell how are you helping uh, the company definitely so uh, currently i am in their rotation program so here in canada the companies have like as a entry level job they have rotation program where you rotate under one subheading like for me is advanced analytics you uh, rotate from one role to another mm-hmm. so currently i am in the data insights and analysis team so okay. what my team works on is mainly using analytical tools for reporting purposes so we generate report that is then forwarded to the senior leadership of the company for making business decisions uh speaking about the tools that i'm using these days uh it's mostly sql and saas Okay. but mo- but moving forward um uh, i do see myself working more on the tableau and python side of the business as well because that's where i see my role to be evolving in a couple of wonderful years. you know i keep telling everyone that uh, never end- underestimate the power of sql and i think uh, you would agree with me that you're working on sql that is one skill set that uh, it may be combined with other softwares but sql is very much important right 100% and one of the things i personally noticed uh in sql predominantly is that sql keeps evolving in the manner that firstly we were just using like especially speaking from my experience at ivy um i started out using just sql like normal sql select statements mm-hmm. uh, grouping them together but then you know sql kept evolving for me as a skill set as my responsibility in the company started increasing and the kind of data i was dealing with so these days i use a lot of pl sql and moving forward i see myself doing a lot of no sql work as well okay good 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 and uh, you said you're also working on saas so you're using saas for reporting as now as of now or some predictions as well so far because it's my first rotation per se since i'm very mm-hmm. fresh in the company they wanted us to start with reporting and i think from that point onwards they are going to amp it up from here and eventually we are going to get to that prediction stage but one personal thing after networking with a lot of individuals in the company that i have noticed is that for predictions python does a more efficient job from a company perspective mm-hmm. computing on python is comparatively cheaper as compared to com- computing on saas anyway so, anyway yeah yeah so that's one of the reasons why and also hadoop like because the kind of data that these companies uh, deal with so it's like very big amount of data so they would rather go for hadoop than doing their predictions on saas true okay dhawal i know uh, you were emphasizing and again, again and again this is your first job so you graduated uh, last year i believe right i graduated in june of this in year in june of this year amazing so you're fresh off out from the college straight to the corporates <laughs> so can we can you tell a little bit about your background like what have you done how did you think about uh, you know i know your educational background so if you can explain to us why you know you wanted to combine what you did with data science and analytics and got into this field sure uh, so i am Pre, like I was in India for my high schooling, so till grade twelve I was doing commerce with mathematics, just like any other CBSE student. But then I decided to go to one of the Western countries just for the exposure because I mm-hmm. was very enthusiastic about learning about different cultures and to just understand their lifestyle. So I moved to Canada and I'm I was pursuing BCom, uh, uh, which is a business degree here in University of Toronto. and i was studying there and in the middle of that year in the middle of my education around my second year 
I was just seeing a trend of people in business moving towards computer science or people in business mm-hmm. doing more engineering oriented roles. And back then, even I was very enthusiastic about banking and finance, just like any other business student that's out there. So that's when I realized that in eventually in future, analytical tools like Py, uh, Python, SQL, SAS, they're going to be very high in demand. And that's when I realized that, you know, mixing that with the business acumen that I have is going to give me a competitive competitive edge, no matter which industry I want to get into. If I want to get into engineering, but a lot of people in engineering, one of the things I have noticed uh, that they lack is social skills for mainly presentation, which is, I think they built up eventually with time, but yeah. it's hard. Yeah, it's. I'm, I'm pretty sure we had a conversation about this yes. as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's that's one of the reasons why I decided to you know uh, join hand with uh, with IV and take mm-hmm. multiple courses the summer analytical program, and that's that's how I uh, ended in business intelligence. Another thing, you know, uh, what I when we had our conversations and you know when wherever we spoke, we always spoke about networking, and you know somehow I feel fresh graduates out of college do not understand this uh, role of networking on LinkedIn or, you know, when you're visiting some corporates or attending some seminars, things like that. So could you just, uh, you know, talk a little bit about your experience, how you did this work of uh, building your network? Surely. Uh, One of the things, one of the uh, initiatives I took on my end, because when I came from India and India as well, uh, in high school, I didn't know what networking is. I didn't know the ABCs of networking. But when I got to Canada, I realized that most of the jobs that people get are usually offered by the HR people of the company. And HR people are not predominantly skilled in any form of skill sets, any form of technical skill sets. Mm-hmm. So the HR lady that handled my file or the HR lady that handled my recruitment process, she had a business background and then she had an MBA in HR, which is not, which has nothing to do with data science. Okay. So I realized, and what they look for, especially for new grads, because I think skills are, I think we had this conversation as well, that skills are very easy to be picked up along the way. But what they look for is authenticity in character and personality. They mm-hmm. want to see if you can work well in a team, if you can communicate your ideas in an effective and efficient manner when you're speaking with the senior leadership of the company. So luckily, um, I think that's a blessing in this guy is that I started off with a business degree because that's predominantly what we learned about uh, okay. throughout the four years that I was in Canada. So it came out pretty easy for me. All right. Great. So I hope everybody is going to focus on the soft skills part of uh, their personalities and not just running behind technical ones. Because combination of both will only get you a good job. Yes, definitely. So there were, uh, you know, we know a lot of data gets collected when you're talking about telecom and your company being one of the oldest companies in Canada. I think it's about 140 years old company. And I'm sure, uh, you know, data collection is happening extensively. What do you think, you know, what do you see as a future of analytics in your industry? Uh, One of the major things that I'm seeing, major major trajectory of uh, analytics is that a lot has been relied upon automation. So be it automation in form of VBA or be it automation in form of machine learning. I, I personally believe that eventually moving forward, even the data visualization task, they... Mm-hmm. They're already being uh, they're already being automated to a large extent, but I feel moving forward they are going to be more automated. So probably data visualization is one of those areas I believe will be highly automated. And the way they are being automated is by using predominantly, uh, not even R, I would say it's more more Python. I say Python. to a large extent is Python and Hadoop. They are the two application that com- my company predominantly is mm-hmm. using a lot these days. All right. Wonderful. And how, uh, you know, difficult or easy was you for you to get a job in the company that you are in right now? Hmm. Uh, How did you prepare yourself for this job? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, So for me, like, you know, coming from India, you know, I, the only issues that I have faced uh, getting a job was all non-job oriented it was just getting mm-hmm. the visas right getting the work permits which I'm pretty sure looking back you can relate with in your experience okay. in the US yeah. <laughs> so uh, getting the job was fairly easy because not a lot of people from my background especially you know if you're coming from I was in finance not mm-hmm. a lot of people in finance had an analytical edge 
So I think that gave me a lot of competitive edge when recruiters used to look at my resume. And other than that, I feel I did struggle a lot with networking at first because it was very, very new concept for me. Mm-hmm. So yeah, other than networking and just uh, having the competitive edge through the analytical uh, acumen of my resume, I think it was very straightforward getting a job. Especially, like, I personally believe um, that you know, if you have a good knowledge of the analytics side, mm-hmm. uh, it should be fairly easy for you. Like, you know, the odds are stacked in your favor when you're looking out for a job. Wonderful. All right, Dhawan. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for your time. I know it's a weekend and you must be enjoying your Saturday morning over there. And uh, thank you so much again for uh, talking to us. And I'm sure with this, a lot of young folks, the people who are graduating would get a lot of insight from this talk from all of us. All thank right. you, Shani, for having me. Thank you, Dhawan. Take care. Bye-bye. You too.